I have an update for you on my review of the Andor 360 degree VR camera. If you watched my original review, you'll know that my, one of my biggest complaints was that I could not figure out how to get rid of these black bars around the, uh, the sides and top of the image. And I'm pleased to report that I have finally figured it out. And as promised, I'm giving an updated review. Check this out. Oh, isn't that better? Yes, okay. So, uh, so here, here's the full flight, the same flight as in the previous video, but this time properly rendered, properly processed, and you can really appreciate what this camera is capable of doing. I, uh, I hope that it gives a much better impression. I do apologize to the sponsor for uh, presenting the product in not the best possible light. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I tried really hard, and I tried to figure it out, and when I couldn't figure it out, I assumed that, uh, that, that something, you know, just something wrong with the process. And I said, okay, well, there you go. I went on with the review. But um, it turns out that I just, I, I was just being dumb. Uh, and uh, if I have a personality flaw, it's that I assume that other people are dumb and I'm smart and, uh, and not the uh, alternative. But uh, usually I'm right. <laughs> anyway, let's not, uh, let's not psychoanalyze me too much. Uh, anyway, here's the video. Enjoy. I, by the way, I will not be monetizing this video. So because I, you know, I, I kind of screwed up the first one a little bit. So I'm not going to charge you for me fixing the screw up. So no commercials on this one, and uh, and enjoy. Oh, hey, one more thing. I will do another video showing anybody else who has this camera the proper procedure for getting the video to look right. It's really the least I can do. Happy flying.